John Moore reporting for SportsandMore.com, joined by St. John Sea Dogs forward Matt Green. And Matt, out of the lineup right now, uh, an elbow injury. Tell us a little bit about the injury and, and what it means for you in the immediate future. Yeah, it happened end of October. It was a game in Moncton, and it was just kind of an unfortunate hit. My elbow just got jammed against the boards, and I, I dislocated it, but I tore some ligaments in the inside of my elbow. But I've been doing a lot of rehab, skating pretty hard lately, and hopefully start of January I'll be back at it. So, yeah. yeah a bit of a blow, really. You're off to a pretty solid start your second year, and uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how encouraging the, the coaching staff and your teammates have been. Yeah, I think I had a great start personally. I mean, started with a good summer I had in the gym at Pro Edge. And, yeah, I mean, Danny was giving me an opportunity to play PK and a little more ice five on five, and I think I took advantage of that and kind of was starting to prove myself in the league. Yeah. You mentioned Pro Edge. Uh, you are bigger and you are stronger. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been working with Pat Busby at Pro Edge and best summer I've ever had for training, so it's been really good, yeah. Aside from, the, again, the, uh, the training in the summer, what else allowed you to – to have that start, the good solid start to your second season? Yeah, I mean, I played a lot in preseason in the first four games when guys were away mm -hmm. at pro camps, and I think that kind of gave me a lot of confidence to just keep that going even when the guys came back, so, yeah. You know, we, were, we were really excited about uh, how, how bigger and stronger you got coming into training camp. You can see that you put the work into it uh, in the months that we, we, we were down. Um, he came in and you know, we played five of the six exhibition games because we wanted to get him ready for the opening of the season because we knew that with 11 guys going to NHL camps, he's going to play a big part of our team. And he played exceptionally well. You know, he played a lot of big minutes and he played an important role. He showed that he could be one of the top, our top penalty killers. He's good in the face-off circle. He's, his vision is exceptional. Um, you know, we, we, were, we were excited about where he was going. At a very early age, I've had coaches tell me, uh, Matt Green, IQ, hockey IQ, very, very strong here. Uh, how confident are you becoming here again? You're out of the lineup now, but how confident are you that you're starting to develop in the queue? Yeah, I mean, I am getting a lot more confident from last year. I mean, getting more ice time, that always helps. And I mean, I know I can play with the best guys out here, and I just kind of want to prove it every night. What are you forecasting for the second half? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have a strong team. I mean, we're still pretty young, but I mean, our goal is to win. We want to go as far as we can in the playoffs, hopefully improve on our first round loss last year. What's the earliest uh, possible date for your return? Yeah, I mean, earliest I'd say is very end of December, early January is probably the earliest, and that's what I'm hoping for. So. And uh, again, what do you, once you get back in that lineup and get the timing down, and where do you exactly see yourself fitting in for the second half? Yeah, I mean, hopefully I can jump back where I left off and even improve on what I had done. So that's the goal. Uh, works. So when we had after Christmas, when he's back, and in mid January, late January, we get Double Falls back. It's like adding two paces in the trade period, no giving anything up. And they're both, uh, you know, very good penalty killers. So we're very excited about what he's going to bring to our team the second half and for the next two or three years. Penalty killing unit, you mentioned that. Uh, Coach Flynn uh, giving you an opportunity there. And uh, tell me about that, that opportunity and how you feel you've developed as, as a penalty killer. Yeah, I mean, it's been great. I've been, I've been playing a lot of PK, and our assistant coach, Jeff Cowan, helps a lot with that. And I'm really happy that Danny gave me that opportunity. I was just kind of trying to run with it. So. Matt, great to see you. Uh, unfortunately, out of the lineup, but uh, we're looking forward to seeing you back in the second half. Thanks for your time. Thanks, John.